So here we are above the quartz boulder, the barrier that is the limit to the upstream dispersal of much of the fish community the day after that last sequence was filmed. The last sequence was filmed shortly after a rain, and I made the point that the river was deeper and muddier and you couldn't see all the rocks in the middle of the river. So I wanted you to have a look at what the river looks like a day later after the waters have gone down. And the main point is that the water level is lower, the water is clearer, and you can see lots of structure in the river. There are lots of rocks emerging out through the surface of the water. And as I said, this river is very similar in structure to what it would be below the quartz boulder. This film should look very much like the film that we took further down. The film further down had a large, complex fish community. This stretch of river does not, because the, bar the barrier waterfall, the quartz boulder, excluded many species of fish from this stretch, this upper stretch. But like the lower stretch, it's got a relatively open canopy. I mean, there's still a lot of trees up there, but the light level and the primary productivity here is considerably higher than what it would be in a small headwater stream. And here we have my colleague Steve Thomas making a contribution to the nitrogen cycle. 